Hey guys, Tom Zhang here. I've always been asked what I use on my iPad to look at PDF files. Um, I use this application called PDF Reader Pro Edition for iPad. Um, I read anything from magazines to sheet music to class lectures from uh, professors. Um, and this application seems to do the job for me. And um, it has a lengthy descri description with a lot of minute little features, but I will not um, hit them off. So if I miss any of them, please do, please be sure to uh, check out um, the full description in my YouTube description. And um, so let me show you guys this application in action. And so first thing, do notice that there are some question marks. It's because this application does not yet support, um, what's the word, Unicode. Um, it, basically, you know, if you have anything other than uh, English letters, Roman numerals, it will appear as question marks. And in this case, I had three PDF files of um, Chinese characters on it. It doesn't display that. However, the the uh, the file itself is intact. Um, let me show you this one, and you can see um, obviously this Chinese letter works perfectly fine here. So it, it's just with the main menu. It has a question marks uh, for Chinese letters. But um, okay, so let me load up and show you guys say one of the magazines um, and these magazines are really high resolution these are a hundred megabytes each and so I can you know swipe through them like that so no lags there and um, okay so I may be uh, let me show you um, one of the textbooks. One of the great things I like about this uh, application is I have the ability to highlight whatever I want. I can underline whatever I want. I can strike out stuff. I can make note, sticky, whichever one I like. And I can also print it. Um, but yeah, let me see. But I don't have a Wi-Fi printer here, so you won't, I won't be able to show you that. Um, and you can bookmark it, email it to yourself. And so the uh, the next major feature I want to show you is the Wi-Fi option. When you turn it on, it shows you a URL, which you can type it into your computer, um, and then the computer um, will load up a web application which allows you to upload files to your iPad or iPhone or iPod from that computer. Now please do make sure that that computer you're uploading files from is on the same Wi-Fi network as your iPad or iPhone or iPod. So they have to be on the same network for this to work. And the last feature I want to mention is they also have an internal browser. You can browse um, the web with it and then choose which PDF file you want to um, you know, download into the application. It could be useful if you, know, if you forgot the uh, PDF file somewhere on, uh, on your email. You can use this to go ahead and download it. Or if you know the direct URL for the PDF file, you can just type it in and it will download. So, and the options, these are pretty self-explanatory. I'll leave that to you guys. So, all right, cool. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please do rate and comment on my YouTube channel and subscribe. And also add me on Facebook. Um, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys later.